Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the waterline command within Top Solid Mold. We'll review how to configure and use the tool, as well as how to use our 3D sketcher to drive your waterline, and finally, how to create the process needed to finish that portion of your design. Let's see how it all works. Creating waterlines for an injection mold has never been easier thanks to Top Solid Mold. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create waterlines that start by going through the A-plate and then pass via an O-ring through into the cavity block and then back out again. We'll keep this circuit kind of simple. It's just to give you an idea of how things work inside of Top Solid 7. Let's get started. I'm going to click on my mold tab and here I'll choose the function for cooling circuits. The first thing that Top Solid Mold wants to know is what parts do you want to process. So I'm going to select my A-plate and my cavity block. The next button down wants to know what diameter waterline drillings you want to put in. You can control them as you want, as well as the overlap when one waterline intersects to another waterline. Next are the diameters, offsets, and whatnot for baffle lines. And finally, you have the components that you're going to put in for each of these lines, from plugs to seals to baffles. Let's see how it all works. Once you validate all of that, the software puts you into our 3D sketcher. We're going to use a 3D sketch to drive the center line of the pipe circuit that we want to put in. To begin with, I'm going to start by using the point on shape command. With point on shape, I can just select directly on the face of a model and the software will constrain for me automatically a point that stays in contact with that face. That's pretty cool. Next, maybe we want to center this, and I want to center that point between this plane and that pocket plane, like so, and then pick the point. Now, if we change the thickness of our plate, our waterline will always stay centered between these two details. Next, maybe what I want to do is add a driving dimension from here to my plane right in here. That's perfect. And maybe we'll just make that two inches. Let's have a look. Looks good to me. Now I'm going to go to my contour command. Contour is a cool function. It lets me draw both lines and arcs simultaneously. In this case, I'm just going to use it to create the path. And I want to start from this point here. Now, as I mentioned, this is our 3D sketcher, so I can draw anywhere in three-dimensional space. What I'd like to do is switch into a local plane based on where I started this sketch. To do that, I'm going to use a keyboard command. Hold down the control key plus the space bar, and you'll see a plane just showed up right here. If I keep holding the control and keep tapping the space bar, it toggles through all three sets of standard planes. So maybe I'll start there, look straight at it, and come across to right here. Perfect. Now what I want to do is I want to change planes again. So I'm going to hold Control, Tab, the space bar. Done. I can look straight at this thing and look at it from the side. And now I'm going to come down to here, and I'm going to come across. I'm going to come back up to this level here, and back out like so. And I'm going to stop this. Now what I want you to really pay attention to is a couple of really cool, unique features. You'll notice that the software has automatically added the drillings. You'll also notice it's thrown the O-ring in properly, automatically. You'll also notice here it put a pipe plug in, and this is just a temporary one. We'll put the final one in in a sec. But maybe we don't want this to be plugged. Maybe this is going to be an out, so I'm going to right-click on this and say Set as Exit. Maybe also I want to put a pipe nipple in, so I'm going to right-click on that again and choose Include Component. And now here you can see there is my pipe nipple. I can pick to locate where I want it, validate. The software will throw a dimension on there anyway that I can control later. Maybe I want to do the same thing over here. Right click, include component. Perfect. Validate. And let's say that's as far as I want to go with this. So I'm going to say finish with my cooling circuit. The last step is to go back to the mold process here and process the cooling circuit. Go ahead and validate. And now the software is going to automatically process each component. And if you look, there's the counterbore for your pipe nipple. Moreover, let's maybe use the visualization tool here. Let's cut a section here, and maybe I want to look right down the center line of that, so I'll snap 
be a passing point right to the center of that. We'll validate. And there you can see the O-ring that was put in with the O-ring groove. And the pipe circuit is complete. How simple was that? Think about it. We're using the simplicity of a sketcher to drive what in most softwares is a very complex process. But in Top Solid, just takes a matter of a few minutes and this portion of the design is complete.